Hello, Esme Todd, your roadmap report. History were born in the UK. Charles Darwin, Winston Churchill, Queen Victoria, but perhaps the most famous of all is William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was born in 1564 in Stratford-upon-Avon. During his lifetime, he wrote around 40 plays, including Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet and Macbeth. I want to find out more about his life, so today I'm at Shakespeare's Globe to meet expert Paul Shooter. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Esme. I'm Paul. Hi. So, this is where Shakespeare's plays were performed? Uh, no, the original Globe Theatre burnt down in 1613 and this is as close a copy as we could build and this was opened in 1997. Well, the building looks amazing. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, let's go. Wow, this is incredible. We had to work very hard to make this as close as possible to the original. Well, it looks stunning. So what was it like in Shakespeare's day? Noisy, busy, people came for a good time. They ate, they drank, they chatted to their friends. If it rained, like it's just been <laughs> raining, they got wet. Mm. Was theatre popular at the time? Yes, we think that the Globe, the original Globe, could hold about 3,000 people. Wow. Uh, population of London was uh, about 200,000, and we think that up to 15% of the population of London went to the theatre at least once a month. Wow, that's incredible. So was it expensive to come here? No, to stand here where we're standing cost a penny, which oh. was about the same as a loaf of bread. So most people could afford to go to the theatre. But you could sit down? Yes, couldn't you? So the, the benches in these galleries all the way around cost tuppence or threepence or fourpence. Those rooms over there called the gentlemen's rooms, where there were cushions on the seats, cost sixpence or a shilling. But the most expensive place in the theatre was the Lord's Room at the back and centre of the stage there. It's not a very good view. No, you would see a lot of the back of the actors' heads, but everybody in the entire theatre could see you, they could see that you could afford to pay to sit there, and they could see the fantastic clothes that you were wearing. Wow. Well, can we have a look around? Let's go. Thanks. So, what happened to the original theatre? Well, it was here until 1613, and in a performance of Shakespeare's play Henry VIII, a cannon was fired from that window up there. The theatre caught fire, and in half an hour they evacuated everybody, and the theatre had burnt down. And was anyone hurt? Just one person whose trousers caught fire, and luckily somebody put them out with their drink in a bottle. Oh, so he got a bit wet then? Yeah. <laughs> It's fascinating to learn about Shakespeare's time at the Globe and to hear so many stories about this beautiful theatre. So what happened to Shakespeare after the fire? It's pretty much the end of his life in London. Uh, he retired back to Stratford-on-Avon uh, and he was already a very wealthy man. So is that where he died? Yes, he died in Stratford on the 23rd of April 1616 and he's buried in the parish church. Well, maybe I should visit Stratford-upon-Avon next, Ben. It's a lovely place, I think you should. Well, thank you so much for showing me around the globe today. It's been truly fascinating. I always enjoy talking about Shakespeare. Well, what a great day. I learned so much about Shakespeare and this beautiful theatre. I love the idea that 400 years later, Shakespeare's plays are still being performed here in almost the same place. Speaking of which, I'm off to try and buy myself a ticket for tonight's show. So for now, this is Esme Todd, your Roadmap Reporter, signing off.